welcome in crochet life and stuff with Deborah. It's me, Deborah, with just a brief little happy mail. And it's, it's something I ordered, so it's like not surprise happy mail. Well, it is kind of a surprise because when you order from Wish or from like Alibaba or whatever, um, I order from Wish, you tend to forget about it, <laughs> which is exactly what happened to me. It takes a month or two to get here. And by the time it gets here, it's like, wait, I know I ordered something, but what was it? So I already ordered, opened the outer package. It was in three little packages inside. This was one of them. Uh, this is something that I absolutely needed. I already have one of these on my tripod that I'm staring at right now, but the top part has been held on with duct tape for a couple of months now. So on the cheap, got myself another one. This one actually might be a little bit better made or at least it's made differently. It's got this little pull tab doohickey. It'll help me get it on there easier. I'll wrap these little legs around the top of my tripod because they don't connect to each other. They're not made like that. And uh, put my phone in there so I can record. Yay. All right. That. And the rest of what's in here, I think I saw an update by Rose at Rose Like Crochet with her stitch markers. And I was like, oh, I want little jewelry things and little bobblies and stuff. So I ordered some. Look at these little things. You know what? I'm going to have to peel some package off of this. So you can really see. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is so little for my hands. Look, it has stars in it that move around. These have like iridescent stars in them in a sort of white iridescent color. I'm going to set this over here so that I don't drop them on the floor. These have royal blue stars. And they could make earrings, they could make stitch markers. They could make stitch markers that, you know, cross over as earrings as I tend to do. Oh, come on, focus, focus. They're so cute, they're very lightweight. So they're not gonna pull your work down if you make a stitch marker out of these, which I will probably do. Um, and then I had one more and these were a little bit different. And I think they came from three different little stores within Wish. I don't keep up with that. I just browse around. It gives me more suggestions. I click on things. I click on related things that I end up somewhere I never intended to be in the first place. This is the third kind. They have little multicolored balls inside the little ball. And this is plastic. I mean, it's clear plastic. It looks like a little glass globe, but aren't those cute? That's it. That was my happy mail today. I didn't even get any bills today. So that's another part of happy mail is not getting any bills. And because I order these and, and pay for them like months ago, it's almost like free stuff. I've done forgotten about it by now, but I thought those were cute. Don't know what I'm doing with them yet. Um, like I said, I might make some stitch markers. Don't count on it. There's a time crunch involved with all of that, but I will have them and I will add them to my collections. But oh gosh, they are so pretty, so cute. Anyway, do you ever order from Wish or from Alibaba and stuff? What do you buy? And do you like have big anticipation when it's on its way? Or do you do like me? You're kind of, you do your little retail therapy when you're shopping, you spend five or six bucks and you just forget it. And when it shows up, it's like, oh yeah, I remember ordering that. Sometimes you just gotta have that. It, it's even cheaper than going to Dollar Tree for me. Cause when I go to Dollar Tree, yeah, I rarely get out of Dollar Tree for less than 25 bucks. I'm mean, gonna get a lot of stuff, but yeah, I get a lot of stuff. <laughs> but with these, I can buy one or two little things and it's like, oh yes, I have a thing. By the way, if you're wondering what this is, this is a, a little ponchette that I created um, when we sell Ladybird Loves and uh, Miss Ingrid and Miss Gina Ingrid from Ingrid Inspirations and Gina from Knitting Turnpike, they sort of did a challenge with crocheting with beads. And I had never crocheted with beads before. So I did. I kind of made it up as I went along. There was no pattern. Um, just me playing with stitches and playing with the design. There is a little bit of a, it's a little bit bigger. It has more fabric right here um, around the arms. So when you move your arms around, you actually have more to, to move around. Anyway, it's a, it's a thing I did and I kind of like the color. I don't know why I've been digging orange so much lately, but yes, there are beads all throughout.
<laughs> Do you ever wear creations that you've made? Tell me about them. Show me them. I want to see. Also, check that description down below if you would like to trade postcards. There's instructions on what to do down in that description. Thanks a bunch. I hope to see you very, very soon for more Vlogtober Crochet-tober. That is coming up on the daily all month long, as well as all the other things that are all the other things. See you soon. Bye now.